Hydrogen is a one-dimensional element. Now the next row, the first octave of the periodic table here, starting with lithium and ending up over here in uh, neon, I think it is. <coughs> it's a uh, it's a two it's two dimensional elements. What's happened in like hydrogen is you have what's called an s orbital or a spherical orbital. Now, if you want to get at right angles to this sphere, then the next sphere you create around it will be at right angles. You take and draw a line from one to the other and they're at right angles with each other, interestingly enough. And <clears throat> so you take hydrogen or helium, which you've got this spherical orbital, and you put another layer around it and you have a two-dimensional element. Those would be your chemical elements and they set the pattern for the elements below them in the periodic table. You go to the next octave, and that'll be your physical elements, and they are three-dimensional. You've got three-dimensional elements in sodium, magnesium, aluminum, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, and, of course, uh, uh, chlorine. And these are some of the most abundant elements in Earth's crust. Silicon being the most abundant element.